This video is going to be on technique in applying our three course mesh detail. I'm also going to show you guys a few tools that are going to be helpful to you when you're doing our three course mesh detail on seams, up seams, and corner details. So I'm going to show some three course mesh detail application. We'll be using six inch burr mesh, polyroof LV, three course mesh is plain and simple, one application, an eighth of an inch thick, that's your first course, then the reinforcement, our burr mesh, that's your second course, the third course is simply a top dressing. So using a eighth of an inch on eighth of an inch notch trowel gives you the proper coverage rate. I like to stick a handle on everything. This uh, keeps your hand out of the pail and your elbows off the wall. This is a six inch, eighth of an inch on eighth of an inch notch trowel for our first course of the three course application. Next we put our six inch burr mesh reinforcement. That's your second course. I get contractors telling me all the time that they have issues with the mesh wrinkling and causing them problems. So a technique I would use to prevent that from happening because once you have wrinkles in your mesh it's really tough to deal with. Um, first off, if you can start in the middle and work your way out in both directions, that is very helpful. But simply doing a S pattern with your trowel when you're embedding your burr mesh helps to keep that mesh in place and save you a lot of headache from having wrinkles and fish mouths to deal with. Third course is simply a top dressing. I would tell my guys out in the field, if I can see green, it needs to be touched up. We want to embed the reinforcement and have a nice smooth, clean top dressing and then your seam is done. So this is the finishing third course of your three course mesh detail and this is what it should look like. If you see any green from our burr mesh coming through, simply touch it up with a little bit more product. I always use one of these uh, drywall taping trowels to do my third course. It provides a nice smooth finish and it just gives you a great three course mesh detail. So another issue that contractors and occasionally have is their burr mesh reinforcement bridging in the angle changes. I'm going to show you a technique that's going to help you with that bridging not happening with your application. If you start in the angle change and do a start stop kind of shimmy along the mesh, you can embed that mesh without it moving on you. Start at the angle change at the bottom and do the same thing. This will help prevent bridging and playing around with your mesh when you don't have to. I hope this video is helpful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment below. Please stay tuned. I've got lots of tips, tricks of the trade to share with you all.